In this video, we will focus on the concept of relative speed. Relative speed is a concept that can be used to solve problems in an easy manner. Suppose the speed, the velocity of a car is V1. Velocity of another car is V2. They are crossing each other, moving from opposite direction. One is coming from this direction, one is coming from this direction. Then to the observer on the road, to the static observer person on the road, the, they are coming closer and closer. The cars are coming closer and closer by the speed, not by V1, not by V2, but V1 plus V2. So this concept is very useful in solving many problems. Similarly, in case if they are moving far from each other, so the observer on the road, they are again moving far each other with the velocity of B1 plus B2. But suppose they are coming, going in the same direction. If they are going in the same direction, then to the observer, he will find it. They are moving from each other, with, not with the speed of V1, not with the speed of V2, but V1 minus V2 mod. So the relative speed between these two car will be V minus V2, V1 minus V2. Similar analogy can be drawn in the watts and the stream kind of problems. By moving up a stream, if a watt is moving up a stream, means against the current, then the speed will be V1 minus V2, where the V1 speed is the speed of watt, and V2 is the speed of stream. So it can be written as Vv minus V half. If it is moving downstream, then it will be Vv plus Vs. Similarly, in the clock problems, the minute hand moves with a speed of 60 km per hour. Think minute hand as a point on the track. Similarly, for the R end, it will be 5 km per hour. Similarly, we can count for the uh, second end, it will be 3600 km per hour. So, the relative speed between the minute hand and the R end will be 55 km per hour. These small things can be very useful in many problems. So, we are discussing them. So, relative speed concept can be used in many trend problems also. So, in the trend problems, we have to also consider the length of trend because it is not insignificant. It is significant length of the trend that affects the problem. So, in calculating distance in trend problems, we have to also consider the length of trend. So, mainly in these three kind of problems, this concept is used other than some problems like car, car motorcycle, etc. The trend problem, the boat and stream problem and the club problem. Thank you. In the other videos, we will take example of these. Thank you.